Hello, I'm David Liesenfeld, pastor at Rock Valley Christian Church, here with today's prayer challenge. And it comes to us from the book of James, chapter 1, beginning in verse 19. It says, So then, my beloved brethren, let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, slow to wrath. For the wrath of man does not produce the righteousness of God. What incredible wisdom is in this verse, that every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, slow to wrath. You know, it's so often that our mouths get us in trouble when we start to get emotional and maybe speaking things that we wish we wouldn't, or we don't take the time to really think about the way our words are gonna impact other people in our lives. What God wants us to see in this verse is that we need to be quick to listen, to understand one another, to see what's going on in the heart and the mind of the person that's before us, and to really think about our words before we begin to speak. Sometimes we can get so frustrated. I know with our own kids sometimes we can get so frustrated. And we can get frustrated when things don't go the way we expect with other human beings. But God is saying, let's really listen and let's be slow to speak and slow to wrath because that wrath does not produce the righteousness of God. And what God wants to produce in your life is to make you the vessel, that you be the righteousness of God to whoever is before you in whatever circumstance that you're going through, that what comes out is His Spirit of love and peace and joy and gentleness. So today's prayer challenge is to think about this and to ask God to help us to have ears to really listen, to really care about and think about the other person and what's going on in their lives, and then to be slow to speak and to be slow to wrath and to really give our attention to ministering to them, to thinking about them and even praying for them. So ask that God now would give us the wisdom to walk this day being so ready and so quick to listen and so slow to speak and to mind our words and let them only be used for good purposes. Let's pray and ask His help for this today.